In this video, I want to go over two extremely important integration formulas. The first is the following. So if we have the indefinite integral of 1 over the square root of a squared minus x squared dx. Here a is a constant, and it's not equal to 0. This is equal to the arc sine of x over a plus our constant of integration capital C. So if you're wondering why this is true, you could make a substitution and go through the mathematics of it. You would let x equal to the sine of theta, and you could come up with this formula. This formula is absolutely worth memorizing. This is an extremely important formula. It comes up naturally in other, other areas of math, and that's what makes it important. It's something that we see over and over again. It's kind of like the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. That's even more important because it, it comes up more. The other formula, which is even more important, is this one. It's 1 over a squared plus x squared dx. And this one's very similar, except it has a 1 over a on the outside. So it's 1 over a, and then it's arc 10 of x over a plus c. And this one is more important simply because it occurs naturally in the study of mathematics uh, more often than the one above does. So this is extremely important. Oh, I might as well write it. <laughs> extremely important. And again, if you wanted to uh, go through the derivation, you would let x equal to the tangent of theta. But again, both are worth memorizing. Now, there are more formulas that lead to other inverse trig functions. However, these are the ones that you really should just know uh, by heart. So I wanted to focus on the ones that you should actually just know. Let's go ahead and do some simple examples so you see how this works. Um, let's start off with something like this, the integral of 1 over... And again, this is just an introductory video, so I'll keep them really simple. 100 minus x squared dx. Okay, so because we have the square root on the bottom here, you see, we're going to be using the first formula. And what you can do if you really want to make it match is you can rewrite it as follows. It's 1 over the square root. You can write 100 as a number squared, so 10 squared minus x squared dx. And now you see that your a is equal to 10. And so you can just directly apply the formula. So this would be equal to the arc sine of x over a, so x over 10, plus our constant of integration, capital C. And that would be the answer. Now this is uh, probably the easiest possible uh, example. <laughs> uh, the problems do get harder. You usually have to make some type of u substitution or sometimes you have to complete the square or sometimes uh, it does get it does get way way more intense let's do one more simple example let's look at the integral of 1 over how about 25 plus x squared dx so now you see you have the pattern uh, that you see in the second formula here there's no square root and so you want to write this in a way that matches the pattern. So this is 1 over 5 squared plus x squared dx. And now you see it directly matches what we have in the formula. It's beautiful. So a is equal to 5. So this is equal to 1 over a. Remember, the arctan has the 1 over a. That's how I memorize it. The arctan has the 1 over a. So it's 1 over 5 arctangent of x over 5. And then don't forget your constant of integration, capital C. So really, really nice formula. And I said we were going to do one more, but uh, let's do a harder one. I can't resist. Let's do another one. How about something um, like this? Uh, let's see. Integral of, oh, I don't know. Let's go nuts. Let's do e to the 2x over um, 7 plus <laughs> uh, e to the 4x. I'd say, what is going on? This is a big step up. I'm just having fun. I actually meant to put an e to the x here. 
and I wrote e to the 2x. So, uh, oh well, it just became a little bit harder. So we're going to be using the arctan formula because there's no square root. You see, so it's just, there's no square root here on the bottom. So let's go ahead and write it in a way uh, that matches what we have. So here's the trick. So the e to the 2x, we're just going to leave it like that. And you might, you might be wondering, how do I know to do this? Practice, right? You, you just do a bunch of these, and you start to see the patterns. 7 is really the square root of 7 squared. We want to do that because now we can identify a as the square root of 7 plus, and then e to the 4x is really e to the 2x squared. Really, really clever, right? And then dx. Beautiful problem. Now we'll make a u substitution. So we'll let u equal e to the 2x. So u is equal to e to the 2x. Then we'll take the derivative of u. So the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. But here we have to use the chain rule. So we multiply by the derivative of the inside. So it's e to the 2x times the derivative of 2x, which is 2. And let's not forget our dx. Typically, when you're doing u substitution, you want to make whatever you have here look like what's in your integrand here. So we don't have a 2, so we'll get rid of it by dividing by 2. And I'll write this as 1 half du equals e to the 2x dx. And the reason I wrote it as 1 half du is because we're going to pull it out in the next step. Okay, now let's make the substitution. This is the hardest part for many people. So the e to the 2x dx, that's going to be 1 half du. So let's pull it out, so 1 half integration sign du. And we have a 1 up here over the square root of 7 squared plus u squared. Beautiful. Really, really just amazing. And recall the formula. I'll write it again here since this is the, the first video. So it's a squared plus x squared dx. And this is equal to 1 over a because the arctan has the 1 over a arctangent of x over a plus c. Running out of room here. So here this would be 1 half. So 1 over a. So a is the square root of 7. So it's 1 over the square root of 7. Arctangent of u over a. So u over the square root of 7 plus our constant of integration, capital C. So just directly applying the formula, it's 1 over a, arctan arctangent of x over a. But instead of x, it's u. And our a is the square root of 7. The very last thing to do, maybe, is write this as 1 over 2 square root of 7, arctangent. And then u is e to the 2x. So this is e to the 2x over the square root of 7. And then we still have our plus and our capital C. So that, my friends, would be the final answer. Really nice problem. This is a big jump up from the previous examples, but... Uh, in the examples that follow, you'll be able to see uh, much easier problems before you get to something of, of this caliber. I hope this video has been helpful in some way. That's it.